Hi, and welcome to M. Brandon. With me again today is uh, Johanna Laseo from the Third Age Learning Cooperative. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, so we're going into our second year mm -hmm. of the uh, Third Age Learning Cooperative. Why don't you just remind the viewers again what talk is, is all about? Okay, great. Um, well, it's about talking, one thing. It is... Um, an opportunity for people who are in the third age, which is uh, if you're retired or semi-retired, to come out and meet people of your age and interest and um, listen to some really interesting speakers. And then um, we have two hour sessions twice a month. And so a speaker will come and talk and share. And then we have coffee and uh, and cookies, all free, um, and discussion about the topic. And it's also an opportunity for people to get to know each other and um, and just expand on on things perhaps they didn't know about before. Right. And you had uh, is an interesting way on how you came up with with doing this and and right. why. Okay. Um, why you felt that having these uh, sessions were, were important. Yeah. Let us know about that. Okay. Well, as I was about to retire, I thought I was going to take a lot of courses at the university. I was a university professor and I thought, oh, finally I'll get a chance to take them instead of teach them. Um, and I did. Soon after I retired, I took a few and I found that I didn't really want to be taking university courses, um, partially with university students, having taught them. I wanted to be with people my age who had as much life experience and, and just knowledge that they could share as well. And so I looked into different options for um, a lot of places called them um, elder college or different things of that nature. And, um, and I got together a group of people who were excited about it too, and we just started this up. So it's a, it, it is an opportunity to learn new things and, and to engage. It's really important to keep our minds active, um, to make sure that we stay clear and um, yeah, just engaged in life. So they say that cognitive engagement, physical engagement, and also social engagement is really important for keeping our minds strong. And um, so this offers at least two out of the three of those. So um, when you guys get together and, and everything that you present, there's, there's a wide variety of topics yeah. that, uh, that you guys uh, discuss and, and learn about. Why don't you go mm -hmm. through a little bit on what's going to be happening, say, for the first uh, first half of this year's session? Okay, there. okay, yes. Um, we're starting with Sex and Seniors by a public health nurse talking about that. And then um, we've got some ladies coming up from Winnipeg to do a little play called Second Win. And um, so in the second wind, it, it, it will be on topics of aging. It will be a good opportunity for people in a, in a very playful, fun manner. She, the, the woman who wrote this, um, is, uh, has a master's degree in clowning, so she's really fun. And um, then street photography with Colin Corno. Um, and then Jeff Williams from the university, from Einstein's twins to Schrodinger's cat. Theoretical physics made understandable by all. So I'm looking forward to that because I'd like to understand these things a little bit better. Um, energy, food, and feeling for seniors. Um, seniors and safety, the police are coming. And then we're finishing it up with um, the separation of church and state, music for the holidays. So a little bit lighter. We like, you know, the last one to be related to the holidays. Right. So um, let's just talk a little bit too. Um, you kind of brushed over a little bit on on the people that that come in to present. Mm -hmm. um, these are aren't just like fly by night people who come in. These, these people like know what they're talking about. Oh yes. And, and are um, almost experts in their fields and stuff. Well, I'd say they are experts yeah. in their fields for sure. So um, you know, the public health nurse and. Um, whether we have, you know, uh, university professors that this is their field, 
Um, I mean, Colin Corneau's photography is wonderful. Um, so the even the, the separation of church and state, the music, that's Patrick Carabre from the university who had a music show on CBC Radio. and So these are, these are people who absolutely know what they're talking about. And what I love about this, and as I say, why I wanted this instead of taking university courses, is that the people who participate also know a lot. That, um, you know, we're older, and we have a lot of knowledge and experience, and, and they're all right there willing to share. And so it, the, the discussions are very, very interesting. Probably get almost as much out of the discussions I, or yes. more than you do out of the presentations Yeah, very themselves. much so, very much so, yeah. 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 So um, let's uh, go into a little bit now on, on where they can get all the information okay. about the Third Age Learning Cooperative. Great. So the website is the best place to go. And um, if you do use the internet, I would recommend it, and I think it will be shown on the screen at some point. So it is um, jam-packed full of great information about talk and, and our um, what what's coming up, the events that are coming, but they can also go into the archives section and they can see all of what we did in the last year, um, some with pictures, some with whatever. Um, there's also a resources page and on that we've, we've wanted to gather information that would be of interest to our participants and so um, there are other links that they can go to. There's just information about other things that are going on with, with regards to seniors. One that off the top of my head is um, Senior Centers Without Walls, which is a wonderful uh, resource that the government is offering that you can go online and it's as though it take courses, but or either online or just by phone and kind of take different courses. It's very interesting. So things of that nature um, are, are on the website. So we really recommend people go there. And if they don't want to use uh, the computer, then they can phone me for information as well. Right, so let's just go over what is the website? The website is www.talcbrandon. Dot Weebly, which is W E E B L Y dot com. Right, and the number where people can get a hold of you at? 204 571 1771. And you have an email address also? I do. They can, uh, well, there's, they can go to the, the talk Brandon. Hmm, what is it? Is it talk? Is it up on there? Oh, yeah, there we are. Talk Brandon at gmail.com. Okay, great. Right. They can do that. Yeah. Um, so just a little bit, because like I've been on to your website and, and looking and right. stuff. And, and when you look at the um, topics that are that are coming up, it's, it's really nice because you know there's a little bit of detail on the topic, but especially on on the presenter, there's a little biography mm -hmm. on the presenter, so you can really get a sense of of where this presenter is coming mm -hmm. from and. and, and like I said, like the amount of knowledge that you'll be able to receive from yes. these presenters there. So yeah. I encourage everybody to uh, to go and, and check yeah. out the website uh, yeah. just to find that information yeah. out too. And there's beautiful pictures that are changed every season. One of our, our uh, participants, uh, Doug Dirksen, is a wonderful photographer. So we have scenes of his that get changed in the season, which is really a delight on the website. You have to go to the website for that. Right. Um, and also there's a map on the website. There's a map of the university grounds so that nobody gets lost. We're in the education faculty, which um, I can describe is when you, when you take the first driveway off of 18th Street past Princess, right in front of you is the faculty of education. Right, and, and you're, us you're usually in room... Usually in 107. Right, but yeah. it, it varies a Yeah, couple only of once. Only year, once yeah. this next year we, we can't have that room. We also um, are negotiating with the university to have free parking in one of the lots. So, because it's uh, two hours. The session is from 9.30 to 11.30. So it gets a little awkward sometimes 
in that. But um, so hopefully, uh, and that will be up on the website if that comes through, which I'm hoping that it will. The university has been so generous with us. Um, you know, they give us the room, the space, um, let me photocopy things. They, they've just been tremendously supportive. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, so we just quickly brushed on, you said, oh, it's twice a month and everything. Mm. We never really got into details. Mm -hmm. You actually follow a pattern. Yes, for, we do. For your it's the first and third. I'm so glad you're on top of this. <laughs> first and third Friday of the month. Right. And um, as I say, from 9.30 to 11.30. Come a little bit early because we do start on time. Um, it's all free. There's no cost to anybody. We, we supply coffee and cookies. Um, there is a little donation box if people want to, but you know they don't even have to do that. Um, yeah, it's just, it's fun. It's really a fun, wonderful thing And to they're well attended too. And they're well attended. And actually we're just starting also this year in offering um, longer courses, which was always the intention, but you know, to build it up. So um, this fall, myself and two others are going to be offering a course uh, called Conscious Aging. And it will be five sessions, also Friday mornings from 9.30 to 11.30, but the alternate, so the second and fourth. Right, right. And um, so again, to look on the website, because you have to pre-register for that one. Any of these sessions, you can just show up, but that we keeping it quite small, so they would need to pre-register. It's again free, um, but that's, that's the plan. And, Next term, I want to do one on conscious dying. So, yeah, yeah. Very interesting. We'll see what else. Thank you very much for coming in, Johanna. Okay, thank and, you for having me. And hopefully, we'll continue on with the success right. of the third age league. Oh, and we oh. need to make sure people know that that you generously come and film it. We do, and yes. that um, you know, so pretty much all of them are are filmed and then that's available for them to watch it. Though we'd like them to come in person, <laughs> but if they can't, then it's great to know that that's available. Yeah, and we have that, that on regular rotation through mm. our, and if anybody's interested, we have last year's that are still running. Oh, great. Yeah, we, he, we've kept running them, so if anybody's interested in seeing what the Third Age Learning Cooperative is about, just check right. our listings and, okay. and you'll be able to see it. It's on at least three times a week. So. Oh, super. Yeah. Great. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Joanna. Thank you. Okay.